And how's it going everybody? This is Splattercat with the next episode of our Tropico 4 Let's Play. It's been a little bit in between episodes, so I am kind of a little bit behind the eight ball here, but as I remember, we were just creating our little touristy area and we had some extra cash left over. This was our tourist dock over here. And this bad boy right here was our garage so that our tourists could get around and like take pictures of things and annoy the residents. So, I'm thinking they need some stuff to do here now. I'm gonna go ahead and... We have $22,000 to play with, looking at the budget. Because we are above budget by $22,000, so we can mess around with that a little bit. Oh, the environmentalists are just not pleased with us right now. They are just upset. But we don't care. And I'm gonna take a look at... Just generally what's going on because I don't remember specific percentages from the last episode of where we were at in terms of general happiness but it seems like most people are pretty stoked about our it seems like most people are pretty happy with El Presidente he seems to be doing an okay job so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and take a look here I'm thinking a hotel would be pretty cool so we're gonna take a hotel here And it's just going to be a little, well, let's see. I kind of want to save this area and this area for like our primo touristy stuff. Because they seem to be the darkest green. Also, maybe this area. We don't have a lot of high altitude areas. Which is unfortunate. And I totally lost track of my clicker there because it won't let me zoom out while I have a building in hand. So we'll put the hotel right there. And somebody will have to come out and build that, but we're not going to worry about it for right now. It's hard to tell that there's anything going on when you're not actually looking at the main city. That's weird. So, main city, how are things going over here? Well, I hope. And it seems like things are moving along. And we have another event. Presidente. May your children be many and your camels always healthy. I want to discuss trade with you. And Sheikh Salim wants us to give him oil, but we don't have any oil derricks at the moment, so we're not even going to concern ourselves with it. Um, take a look at my exports here. We don't have a whole lot of exports ready to roll, but we have enough money to where if we take it slow, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be okay. Additionally, there needs to be something to do over here for tourists, so you want to go to the attractions menu here. And, oh, we have to have a hotel first. They don't even let us queue up building until we have a hotel. Okay. And taking a look around the island here, just getting a feel for what we have going on. Hmm. Okay, so... I feel like getting some more farms up and running is probably in our best interest. I do want to take a look. I do want to take a look at increasing our garbage efficiency here. Really, that's going to increase our happiness a little bit. And looking at our pollution map, it looks like we got some more pollution over here. I'd hate to put a garbage dump right in the middle of town. I was hoping that this would kind of bleed over and take care of the issue over there, but that may not be the case. Up here, it's expected. This is going to be our kind of industrial area. Now, we do have our rum distillery rocking. We don't have a lot of extra money, though, so I'm going to leave it alone for now. We should get a nice little cartload of money here when this boat comes into dock. It should put us... looks like we're getting about $26,000. Hopefully, somebody's gotten out here with a car and built in a hotel. And the hotel is now built in. And hopefully someone will build that dock as well. 17 new immigrants. Okay, so that's going to take some doing. We're going to take a look at our people here. Uh, our economy. We have nobody unemployed. We have two free jobs. So we we just dodged the knife there. Under representation, Presidente. You are not on the minds of your citizens at all times. Yeah, that... <laughs> I'm not super interested in doing thought policing at the moment. Um, I'm going to dismiss that one because the loyalists already love me. The loyalists are already feeling everything El Presidente is doing. They're kind of brown nosers in that respect. They're really easy to please. So, 
looking around the map here. I'm at I'm at odds with what I want to do next. I do think we should get a cathedral in place because that's going to allow us to let the Pope in. But I do need to make some edicts here. So I'm going to take a look. And general edicts, we do need to make some money. Um, loyalists and nationalists, I'm not really interested in that. Early elections, we don't need to rush election, elections right now because we're not in trouble. I don't think I want food for the people. Social security is a decent idea, but I'm going to wait till I have a little bit more money. Free housing is absolutely not happening. Nuclear testing, I don't think I want to go with either. Education. Oh, we don't have a ministry. God, what am I doing? Okay, so we're going to need a, let's see here, welfare. We have our customs office. I would like to build a cathedral, but they're just so expensive. So ridiculously expensive. What else? Kind of just going through things here, trying to decide what I want. I'm thinking... We don't really need to re- we don't really need to re-educate people just yet. We haven't had a whole lot of crime. We've had some, but we haven't had a lot. A foreign office... What is our foreign policy looking like right now? Let's see... Factions, there we are. And... Foreign, I'm sorry. Okay, our relations aren't so bad. The Middle East is not liking us at the moment. That's because they keep demanding stupid stuff and they keep trying to trade us camels. This is not... This isn't like a free market Bali type situation where I'll trade you like three chickens and a mule for financial aid. <laughs> I require hard currency here. And we have our hotel in place now. We aren't attracting a whole lot of people to the island yet. I think for now... Hmm. Let's see, our foreign... There it is, the ministry. It was in the corner the whole time. No, not a nuclear power plant. We don't want that in the middle of the city. And a ministry. We're going to go ahead and place our ministry... Let's put it somewhere near El Presidente's palace, because the ministry and things, you know, like that tend to be near the central government office. So we'll put that right there. And I'm going to keep an eye on my finances for now. So much of this game is just keeping an eye on your finances. We have a huge export going very shortly, so we're going to have a bunch of cash available. We may be able to do some rapid expansion. What is this right here? A cattle ranch. Okay. I do want to build some stuff right here, because this is just worthless land right here. There's our end of the year report. The environmentalists are kind of grumpy. The religious are a little grumpy, but a cathedral will fix that. Their faction leader is unhappy. That's a little strange, but whatever. Garbage disposal. We're going to give this some time, because we did just upgrade this facility, and we're going to see how it affects the area surrounding us. I may put a garbage dump down here, but... That's really just an ugly situation that I don't really want to do, but it may happen either way. Who knows? There goes our financial aid. Strangely, we're still collecting financial aid, even though we're still su self-sufficient. I'm not going to I'm not going to argue with people if they want to throw free money at me. That's a tenet I follow in real life too. If you want to throw money at me, go for it. I'm not going to cry about it. Never hurting for money. And with that, I think I'm going to play around with some more. Let's see. Beach villas, I feel like, are a little risky because we don't have a lot of nice beaches. So, yeah, it's flagging it saying we should place this on a beach. But all of our beaches kind of suck. Tropico, our Tropico is not going to be known for its beaches, I don't think. We're going to be known for our inland stuff to do. Yeah, so we're just going to avoid that. I spent a thousand dollars buying the blueprint. We have a lot of money, so I'm not going to stress about it. Let's see here. I'm going to put in a cocktail bar there. We need stuff for our people to do. The balloon ride. How much is the balloon ride going to cost me, actually? What is the price associated with that? Okay. 
<laughs> an ethnic enclave, a village of quote natives that the tourists would just love to see. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put in a tour office as well. Now, bear in mind, I don't think we have enough people to occupy all these positions, but oh well. Oh, this is gonna be a huge export cycle. I'm so excited. We have like 40 grand coming to us pretty shortly if the rest of these trucks get here. And this is just going to be incredible. So we've got 10 more immigrants. And what I like to do after every single immigrant batch is just go ahead and check and see exactly what my employment situation is. That's always a good plan. Don't neglect it. It's under your economy tab here. And we have 8 unemployed right now. Hopefully those unemployed will go to work down here as touristy people. But you never know. I would like to get some kind of road infrastructure going. I'm pretty sure we can take this here. We're going to turn this into a tourist attraction at the moment, actually. Because usually you can skim off the top here and add to your Swiss bank account. That's actually an edict that I think I'm going to go ahead and do now. Because we're in good shape. Is the ministry even built? Or is the ministry just... There we are. Oh, we need to appoint ministers. So... Apparently, we have some candidates here. I'm going to go with Inez Giordano because I'll take intelligence over leadership any day. I don't care how great of a leader you are if you're a moron. I think we've all worked for enough morons in our time to realize that we'll all take intelligence over somebody who's a natural leader. Um, courage? I don't think courage is really going to matter in the educational board. But we'll go with Ernesto Peña. Foreign Affairs. I want somebody, for Foreign Affairs, I want somebody who's on their A game. I want somebody who's going to be a sniper. Somebody who's going to take out my enemy. So I'm going to go with somebody who's just, oh man. As I say that, they don't really give me the options. I'm going to go with, I guess, Donnie Greco. Just because that sounds like a, a mobster-esque name. Venerable leader, some mighty Chinese dragon has a request for you. Does he now? I'm going to dismiss that. We don't have llamas. We have cattle. So we can not export beef, but cattle are not on the radar right now. We have a ton of money. I just noticed. I am excited. Our budget just exploded. And so like any good bureaucrat, I'm rubbing my sweaty palms together, seeing how I can dwindle away the money so that I don't have to use it on social reforms. So <laughs> let's take a look here. I'm thinking, I am really thinking that the one thing we want to shore up right now is probably gonna be a cathedral. I'm thinking we really, if we can get a cathedral in place, we can get papal visits going on. And if there's one thing I know about Bolivarian countries, it's that they love their papal visits. You could put it right across the street from the rum distillery so that people can get completely shit-faced and then go to a confession. Let's do that. <laughs> We'll go ahead and do that. And then we're going to finish appointing some ministers here. Our Minister of the Interior. We have some great candidates here. I'm going to go with, once again, I'm going to go with the Intelligent Office. Or the Intelligent guys. However, for here, I'm going to go with Marcelo Gutierrez. Because his courage and leadership are fantastic. And that's exactly what I want from a Defense Minister. I'm not going to look for intelligence so much in a military leader. I'm going to look for courage and leadership. Now, we have a full group ready to go. Hopefully we can get some little tourist debuggers going on here. We're going to go ahead and go with a full color brochure here for our tour office. And the cocktail bar is going to be dedicated to... Um, we're going to stick with trying to cater to everybody for now. And it looks like everything is occupied over here, which is great. The destination flag. That's actually new from Tropico 3. I'm going to save my destination flag for this tour resort. Actually, no, I have a place. So we're going to go ahead and take tours there. But I do need to get a road system in place. I think that's probably the last thing I'm going to do for this Let's Play. I don't want it to be super long. I've noticed that I've gotten in the habit of doing super long Let's Plays. So let's get some roads built real fast. And then we will go ahead and cut this one off. So we're going to do a road this way. 
a road there. And maybe make that connect there. And then I would also like this to go out to here. And connect there. And for now, our touristy area... Ooh. It is just tweaking out right now. It is not pleased with my road decision. It is unpleased... with my transportation solution. So we'll just leave a little road going up in here. And then also, it's a problem because destroying the trees is going to kill the beauty a little bit, so we want to avoid that. But anyways, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for watching. This has been the next episode of our Tropico 4 tutorial slash playthrough. Um, I've enjoyed having you here. I've enjoyed talking with you. If you enjoyed the videos, please do go down and shoot me a like, shoot me a favorite, shoot me a share. Anything you can do to help spread the channel. And I will see you next time. See ya.